The radio is one of the most effective weapons organic to the infantry unit. Not only does it give you the capability to communicate with adjacent units, it also gives you capability in calling in air support, artillery, medevacs, as well as communicating with higher on the current situation on the battlefield. In this episode of Infantryman's Guide Room, we discuss one of the commonly used reporting formats after observing enemy activity, and that is the salute report. Information must be reported as quickly, accurately, and as completely as possible. An established method to remember how and what to report about the enemy is to use the acronym SALUTE. Size. Size refers to how many enemy personnel or vehicles are spotted or estimated. It is always the best practice to give an exact number you observe. However, a battlefield is a very unpredictable and challenging environment in which the enemy always gets a vote. Things rarely ever go as planned, and the fog of war is always a huge contributing factor. In situations where you cannot effectively acquire a precise count of your enemy contact, try to estimate their strength. For example, if you see a group walking through the woods and can't determine their exact number but believe there is approximately three to five men, you can report their size as being a fire team size element. Six to approximately 13 men can be reported as a squad size element. Slightly more than that could be reported as a squad plus size element. Observations of multiple squads could potentially be a platoon or a platoon minus size element. Activity. What is the enemy doing? What is their current activity? Are they patrolling down a road, offloading large crates of ammunition, digging in? The activity of the enemy could help provide higher with a better picture of what is going on in the battle space. Report as much as you can. What might appear minuscule to your current situation may actually be key information for hire in determining what the enemy's next course of action is. For instance, if you observe the enemy digging in, this is most likely indicating that the enemy is going into the defense. Location. What is the location of the enemy activity you observed? After observing the enemy activity, reference your map in order to obtain a grid reference point of the contact. Try to acquire an 8-digit grid in order to provide higher with a more accurate position. The enemies on the move provide higher with the location in which you observe them as well as the direction they are headed. You can use cardinal directions for this. Additionally, if the enemy is observed near or on key identifiable features like roads or bridges, or you have pre-assigned points on the map such as checkpoints or target reference points, you can base the location of the enemy off those points. For example, let's say you observed an enemy 200 meters east of your patrol's checkpoint 2. Your unit COC would have your patrol's map overlay and would be able to ascertain the enemy's location because they too would have your location of your patrol's checkpoint 2 on hand. Unit are there any indications of the enemy unit's identity? A lot can be determined based off what the enemy unit is wearing. Unit patches would be the most obvious indicator of what particular unit you are looking at. However, obviously patches are not always worn or you may be at a distance from them that makes the patches hard to recognize. There are other things though that can be observed that will help get a better understanding of who you are looking at. For instance, is there uniformity between the enemy force, such as are they all wearing the same uniform or camouflage pattern? Or are they wearing non-uniform clothing such as miscellaneous camouflage patterns or a mixture of civilian clothing? This may help identify whether you are observing a regular military unit or an insurgent force or partisan group who is fighting alongside or on behalf of the enemy. When observing enemy personnel, look to see if they have any distinctive uniform items on them such as berets or epaulets that may distinguish them as being part of a certain unit. You may even be able to distinguish between officers and enlisted men based on their appearance and the weapons they carry and gear that they are wearing. Also note if they are wearing body armor such as flak vests or helmets. All this information may be used by hire to determine whether certain units or types of units are in your AO. Vehicles may also offer some clue as to the unit's identity. Many tactical vehicles often contain indicators of the country of origin or unit markings. Additionally, the type of vehicle observed may indicate the type of unit. For instance, a scout reconnaissance vehicle like a BRDM could indicate a reconnaissance unit, or an amphibious personnel carrier could indicate a marine or naval infantry unit. Time. This will be the time in which you observed enemy activity, and not the time at which you are calling in the report. This information is critical to give higher an accurate representation on where the enemy activity was at a particular time you observed it. Higher may use this information to determine where the enemy may be expected to be based on the direction and speed for which they are moving. Equipment. Identify or describe all weapons, vehicles, or special equipment like tools observed associated with the enemy activity. Ideally, if possible, you would report every weapon and type to hire. For example, three are armed with AKM style rifles, one armed with a PK series medium machine gun, and one armed with an RPG-7 launcher. Just like reporting the number of enemies, sometimes it can be difficult to ascertain the exact amount of weapons that you're seeing. 
If your observations, time, or conditions do not permit being able to effectively gather what all weapons you are seeing, you can use general characterizations in order to give higher an idea of what you're looking at. For example, if you see an enemy squad and they appear to be armed primarily with AKs, RPKs, PKMs, and RPGs, those type of weapons are commonly referred to as Soviet bloc small arms. If an enemy force is primarily armed with M16s, M4s, SAWs, M240s, you could summarize all that with American military style small arms. The equipment the enemy has is just as important as the weapons themselves because it could telegraph what exactly the enemy's intentions are. For example, if the enemy is moving with large rucks on, this could indicate that they are moving into the AO to establish a longer term presence to operate out of. Troops that are just conducting security or reconnaissance patrols do not require as much sustainment gear. Another example would be an enemy that is hiking ladders, mortars, and numerous ammunition crates, which may indicate that they are preparing for a large attack. And lastly, remarks. Any information that wasn't contained in the standard salute format would be annotated here. Before we start the practical application portion of this video, let me first give you an example of reporting a salute report over the radio. Keep in mind that some units may vary in the way that they want this reported. Start the report by identifying who you are. Next, give your location so that higher knows exactly where you are in relation to the enemy activity. Then you will proceed in providing your salute report. Salute reports are used to report enemy activity and presence and not contact. An example of this would be observing an enemy on a reconnaissance patrol, or manning a listening and observation post in which you observe the enemy activity. In both cases, the enemy did not detect you and there was no contact. Alpha 6, Alpha 6, Alpha 3 1, stand by for salute report, over. Alpha 6 is Alpha 31. I am located at 89014650. Break. Size. Squad size element of 9 enemy fighters. Break. Activity. Moving in staggered column east from checkpoint 2. Break. Location. 200 meters east of checkpoint 2 at grid 89045. Four six five tree break. Uniforms DLF regulars wearing lizard camouflage uniforms, flax and helmets, and chai com web gear break. Time twelve fifteen break. Equipment six AKMs, two RPKs, one PKM, and one SVD. I'll copy. Once you have sent your salute report, the receiver should read it back to you. This is to ensure that everything was recorded by the receiver accurately. If everything was received correctly, then you have finished your report and you can end your transmission. Roger, Alpha 6, that is a good copy. Alpha 31 out. Now it is time for the practical application portion of this video. During this portion, you will be given three different scenarios. At the end of each scenario, pause the video and generate your own salute report based off the information presented. Once you have completed your own salute report, press play and I'll give you a salute report that I have generated so you can compare it to yours. Rules for the scenario. In order to maximize training value, please abide by the following rules. You may pause the video during any of the map portions of the scenario brief in order to provide you with more time to acquire your grids. However, do not pause the video during the scenes showing the actual enemy. This is to simulate limited exposure to the enemy activity and you should challenge yourself to see what all you can gather in that limited time duration. Scenario number one, backstory. You are in the country of Sherpistan. Coalition forces are engaged in combat operations with Sherpistan's neighbor, Turkestan. Turkestan's forces consist of their regular army, the Turkestan Defense Force, as well as militias and local insurgent cells. Situation. Your patrol, Alpha 2-1, has just spotted enemy activity on the side of a mountain. The time is 12:20. Here's your location. Here is the enemy's location. They are heading in this direction. This is what you see through your binoculars. Remember, do not pause this segment.
At this time, pause the video and generate your own salute report based on the information I provided you and what you just saw. Now that you've had time to generate your own salute report, here's what I have so that you can have something to compare yours to. Reporting Unit, Alpha 2-1. Our location is at 8635-4890. Size, two military-aged males. Activity, walking southwest along the side of a mountain. Subjects appear to be in disagreement with one another pertaining to the direction they are headed. Location is 8630-4825. Unit, appear to be Turkestani militia or insurgents. Wearing brown and tan man dresses with Afghan style pakul hats, shamogs around their necks, and green Chicom style chest rigs. Equipment One is armed with an AKM, and one is armed with a M44 Mosin bolt action rifle. Scenario 2 Situation You are manning a two man listening and observation post located here. Your call sign is OP2. The current time is 0331. You have spotted enemy activity here. They are headed in this direction. This is what you see through a magnified night vision optic. At this time, pause the video and generate your own salute report based on the information I provided you and what you just saw. Reporting Unit, OP2. Our location is 8685-4885. Size, three anti-coalition fighters. Activity, moving northwest through the wooded area in a ranger file. Location, 8695 Four eight seven five, unit, Turkestani militia or insurgents wearing man dresses, shamogs, Afghan style paku hats with Chicom chest rigs. Time zero three thirty one. Equipment: two AKM mass rifles and one RPK light machine gun. Scenario three. Situation: Your squad is conducting a reconnaissance patrol of your platoon's AO. Your call sign is Bravo 13. The current time is 1340. Your squad is currently located here. You have spotted enemy activity here. This is what you see through your binoculars. At this time, pause the video and generate your own salute report based on the information I provided you and what you just saw. Reporting Unit, Bravo 13. Our location, 8210-4975. Size, three anti-coalition fighters. Activity, enemy is setting up and sighting in an 82 millimeter mortar system as well as staging crates of 82 millimeter mortar ammunition. Location, 8175-49er-73. Unit, regulars of the Durkistani Defense Force. DDF personnel wearing woodland camouflage utilities, red berets, and green chai Com chest rigs. Appears to be one officer and two enlisted men. Time, 1340. Equipment, one Yugoslavian 82 millimeter mortar system with multiple rounds of ammunition. One RPK light machine gun. 
two AKMS rifles, one TT-33 or Makarov style pistol. Well, that's it guys, that completes this episode of Infantryman's Guide over the Salute Report. If you're liking what you're seeing, don't forget to check out my channel and subscribe. I've already done several infantry related videos and I plan on doing several more in the future. Thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a comment.